Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy OSK, aka Mr. Serial Pips, back at it with another crazy video. This video is about standard deviation projections. How I use them, how I apply them, how I study them. I want to drop a little disclaimer though. This is what works for me. This might not work for you. You got to be an independent thinker, critical thinker. Don't just take my word for this stuff. Test it out on your own charts and see if it fits your personality. Because that's how I knew this stuff is real. This stuff is crazy accurate. And that's why I use it. Because I did my own research. So let's get straight into business. As you guys know, I keep posting my charts with these standard deviations on them. And you guys are like, bro, what's this? Why do you take profits at two? Why do you do this? Why do you do that? Now in this video, I will finally explain it and drop the sauce. I did not know if I should drop the sauce, but I'm a nice guy. You feel me? I'll go over all these tweets too, so don't worry. I will take your hand and go through it step by step. Let's get it. So in this video, we're going to talk about the settings you need. Then we're going to talk about the manipulation lag that we need to use for the projection areas. And I'm going to go through some examples from my tweets, like I just said. And then I'm going to take your hand again, and I'm going to annotate it on the chart. You guys have no excuse not to understand it after this video, so make sure you watch till the end. For the settings, I use a Fibonacci retracement tool, and these are the values I use. Just copy them, and when you plot it on your graph, it's going to look like this. So pause the video, copy them, and let's get straight back into the business. So now we'll explain the manipulation lag, because we need this one to project the standard deviations from. If you have not watched my video about my model, I recommend you do, because it will make things way more clear. Usually price accumulates. And then it manipulates AMD, accumulation, manipulation, distribution. So we want to see a high get taken and then we displace down. This will be our manipulation lag. Why? Because this is the latest lag that manipulated before making the real move. Simple as. It's that simple. Don't overcomplicate it. I made it easier for you guys to understand. I put some nice little colors, you feel me? <laughs> like a little color book. All right, so. The green is accumulation. So price can do whatever it wants here. And then we manipulate upwards, take out this high, displace down. This is the manipulation lag in red. And then right here, this is the distribution in blue. And then we put our Fibonacci from the top of the manipulation lag to the bottom. And then we project the deviation downwards. That's it. That, it's that simple. You feel me? I will go through the step by step. Take some notes. This is a sauce. The things we did previously were easy. Like this is easy too, but this is where you want to take some notes because what I'm about to tell y'all, the sauce. So once we plot our Fibonacci from the top to the bottom of the manipulation lag at minus two to minus 2.5, we expect a retracement or a reversal. So to answer every single one's question of why I take profits at two, because price might reverse from there. I'm a trader. I like to get in and out of the market. I like to get my money and dip. I don't care if it moves a million more pips. I'm taking my money and I'm out. And I'm not saying you should think the same, but for me, it's what works. Until I develop my psychology more to hold longer, to hold more hours, I'm just taking my low hanging fruit and I'm dipping. That's why I take profits at minus 2 to minus 2.5. Because price might reverse from there. So, when price only retraces, we can expect it to go to terminus, which is at minus 4. So guys, here's where I added my own sauce into it. I take profits at minus 3.5. Why? Because I see price always going around there. And then it might not reach minus 4. Why? Because I trade Forex pairs. And my theory is that because Forex is highly manipulated and it's a pair against another pair, it's not as precise as, let's say, some other instruments. That's why I take my profits at minus 3.5 if I hold it for longer. Because sometimes it does not reach to minus 4. And guys, I learned this by studying price. I didn't just learn it from someone and run with it. Nah, you have to study. The stuff I'm putting out in this video, you need to study it for yourself. Because it might not fit your personality. It might not fit your brain. 
<laughs> I don't know, bro. But you guys need to study. Don't take my word for this. Go to your, go open your charts right now and study this, bro. That's how you're gonna improve. Everyone just wants the easy way out. Nah, there's no easy way, G. I was backtesting hours upon hours upon hours, bro. I was losing my mind in these charts. And now the charts, I might sound crazy, but they speak to me. They're like, owner, come take some money from me. And I hope all of you get to that level too. But to get to that level, you need to put in the work, bro. Stop asking me these simple questions. Just Google it. Like, I, I went on a little rant. But you guys get my point. <clears throat> Sometimes I get the simplest questions. Which you can just research yourself. If you cannot research a simple question, how do you expect to beat the most highly manipulated financial markets in the world? Like, come on now, bro. Are we here to make money or are we here to just watch YouTube videos, put on a position and lose money? You feel me? So study, study, study. That's my tip. I'm dropping sauce in this video. I know a lot of people don't want to hear this. They just want to hear, yeah, bro, just... Watch this video and you're going to get rich. 80% win ratio. Nah, G, that's not how it works. Stop getting brainwashed by these fake gurus, bro. Damn, I'm dropping all the sauce in this video and you guys are just not listening, it feels like. Because I keep getting the same questions, guys. That's why 90% fail. You need to study, bro. Damn. Damn, I feel like a dad, G. Damn. <laughs> I just went back and watched that stuff because I need to edit the video, you feel me? <laughs> and I'm just going to keep that in. Because I think it's authentic. It's going to help people. It's going to help people more than just me showing standard deviation projections. So that rant, if you went through it, you are G. Because you know what you need to do. And I hope you do it. And if you don't, own choice G. I'm going to make my money. If you don't want to be financially free, hey, you don't have to, bro. You don't have to. All right, let's get to the example, G. So you see price manipulates one last time upwards. And then this place is down. Leaves a beautiful breaker. Leaves a beautiful manipulation leg. We take the Fibonacci from the high to the low. Project it downwards. So this is an old chart of mine. Not old, but older. I still had this setting on. You don't need it on. Alright, so at minus 2, you can see it retraces a bit. But it drops. What does that mean? If it only retraces, it's probably going to minus 4. Sorry, minus 3.5 to minus 4. Which it did. And guys, another gem. You want to line up your standard deviations with like liquidity points, fair value gaps, aka inefficiencies. Because that's a high probability standard deviation projection. You get me? Example number two. So we see price. Make one less manipulation upwards. This place down. We take out this high. This high. This high. This high. This high. And this little high right there. Like I can see by eye that it's like a high, low, high. There's even this high, low, high. So, in my opinion, this is the latest manipulation lag. You could even argue it's from here. So I take it from the top to the bottom. I project it outwards to retrace all the way to minus four. So, this was at London open kill zone. This was at New York kill zone. And this was at London close kill zone. The unicorn happened in all kill zones and you could use the standard deviation projections in all kill zones that's just crazy to me but hey you gotta study it for yourself so we take out this high high to the low project it downwards minus 2 minus 2.5 minus 3.5 minus 4 beautiful that's that's just beautiful bro and then the last one we take out this high we project it high to the low here Projected downwards. Unfortunately, I don't have to chart what happened afterwards. But I wouldn't be surprised if it went to minus 2. You feel me? Alright. Example number 3. Now, this was a crazy trade. Because I remember ICT doing a market review about this. Saying like, yeah, it's a beautiful market maker sell model. We tap into this. I think it's a daily fair value gap back then. It's just crazy, bro. Alright, so. On a 15 minute chart, I'm pretty sure this was... A better looking manipulation lag. But I posted a 5 minute chart here. So we take out this high. Manipulate upwards. We take it from the high to the low. Project it downwards. Minus 2 to minus 2.5. Liquidity points. Price. Bro. Can you make this up? Because I cannot make this up. How is it this precise? Going to minus 2 to minus 2.5. And then it flies back up. You can't make this up bro. Oh. 
what did I just drop? The gem and like two slides ago or one slide ago. If our standard deviation projection is in alignment with a liquidity pool or an inefficiency, that's a high probability standard deviation. And look at it. We took the London lows and we go back up. Crazy. Example number four. Price manipulates downwards. As you guys can see, it takes this liquidity right here, this liquidity right here, flies up. This is the latest lag. The low to the high projected upwards, minus 2 to minus 2.5. And you cannot make this up. You, you can see price had a reaction here, went back down. Because you guys know, I assume you guys know, open high, low close. If you're watching standard deviations. But as you guys can know, it goes up, back down, back up, boom. Terminus, aka minus 4, aka the previous week high. Can you make this up? Do I need to give you all more examples? Because this is crazy. We take out this low, go back up, leave a breaker, we project it, low to the high, minus 2.5, reaction, minus 4, terminus, coincidence, I guess. Alright, another one. High, low, take out this low, we project it, minus 2. Beautiful example number six, and this is a crazy one. This was recently as well. We take out this low. This is the last manipulation lag. It's a bit hard to see, but follow my mouse. Low, high, low, high, lower, low, higher, high. So this low to this high is a manipulation lag. We project it upwards, minus two, reaction, retracement, all the way back to terminus. Crazy. That's crazy. And this one here, right here, we take out this <clears throat> low. We project it from this low to this high. Minus 2 to minus 2.5 also starts retracing. Or maybe reversing. I don't know. I don't know what happens after this chart. But that's crazy. Terminus minus 4, minus 2. How does this line up so beautifully? You tell me. Just tell me, bro. If you know how this lines up so beautifully, maybe because the market's ran by algorithm. I don't know, bro. I do not know. So for the people that cannot understand sarcasm quite well, that was a bit sarcasm. I'm pretty sure these markets are run by algorithm. Ah, right, time for some crazy sauce. I told you, I'm going to hold your hand, go through it in the charts. So as you guys can see right here, low, high, lower, low. That's a manipulation lag. Look at this. We tap this. Retrace. Coincidence, right? Alright, let's go. There's also manipulation lag. Low, high, low, low. We take our Fibonacci, low to the high. This is a coincidence, G. Coincidence. Coincidence, bro. Alright, let's check this. Another one. Low, high, low, low. Take our fib, low to the high. Can you make this up? Can you make this up? Crazy. Crazy! Alright, so y'all know I, I ain't capping. Let me just... Let me, I ain't practice nothing. Let me just go back. Let's check this. And clearly see. Low, high, low. Nah, 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 you can't make this up, bro. You cannot make this up. So minus two, retracement, minus four, terminus. Tell me if you can make this up because I cannot. It's just so crazy. All right, let me show you all this example because this blew my mind. This actually blew my mind. Okay, let's draw this. We go up, right? High, low, high, low, higher, high, lower, low. We take this the liquidity sweep and put it like this. This will be my market structure shift. Let me give this a little nice color, you feel me? This will be my standard, uh, excuse me, this will be my manipulation lag. We project it downwards. Can you make this up? Can you make this up? And let's go right here, right? This is the latest manipulation lag. Because we take out this liquidity, this, this. So let me put this right here. A little liquidity sweep. And then let's put the mark structure shift 
right here. And then we have a breaker, fair value gap. It does not tap the breaker, unfortunately, but it does to the fair value gap. And then it flies. And let's see, let's see the position. Can you make this up? Tell me right now, can you make this up? Tell me, can you make this up, bro? High to the low. Projected upwards, minus four. Look how it taps it. Look at that. I think it's a coincidence. And let me drop some more saws. You guys already know I enter on the fair value gap or the breaker. So you could enter here on the fair value gap. Stop on the low. Target minus two. Target minus four. And make some bread. Same case right here. Put down the breaker. Stop on the high. Target minus four. Time for some money. Tell me, can you make that up? Can you make that up? Tell me, G. That's how crazy this stuff is. If you made it to the end, you're a legend. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to follow me on Twitter. Join the Discord. It's free. 500 members in there already. A lot of fun traders helping newer traders out. And I'm also active in there. Dropping my analysis in there. So join up. And please make sure you subscribe to the video. Thank you so much, guys. So only 13% are subscribed. Get that to 100%. Now nah, I'm trolling, but please drop a little sub. And let's get it, man. Good luck trading. Like, comment, sub, share. Hit me up. I right, peace, boys. Take care.